Sam, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Go ahead, Harry. Aye, son. So, the neighbor family. Yes. They have a four children. Let's go. Okay. Ah, so, they are neighbor family. Mm -hmm. The family are both parents alive, but. They are doing nothing. Okay. So some of the children they are in primary school, but they have a previous debt for last year okay. and this year, so they don't pay anything. Okay. So. So they have a debt. So they're not in school for that much longer, yeah. yeah. Even I wrote a letter to mm -hmm. inform the school not to send the child home. Okay. They can stay the school too. So long as we find a sponsor. Yes. Okay. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so this young man, this is this is um, Abdallah. No. Which one's Abdallah? Abdallah. You got it. No, yeah. This one. This, yeah, that's what I said. So this one's Abdallah. Who's the... Rehema Bakari. This is Rehema. Rehema. <laughs> it's Rehema. She's shy though. Wait, maybe she can... Rehema. <laughs> Shabani. And this is Shabani. Shabani. Say mambo. Mambo. Shabani. Hey, Shabani. Eh? Angalia camera. <laughs> Tapa sam kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> the last one is Mwanaidi. Mwanaidi? And this little this little one is Mwanaidi. Is Mwanaidi okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, Mwanaidi. He looks tired to me. <laughs> So those are the four children. Um, I can already tell uh, that the smallest one is sick. I've just heard his chest wheezing, so uh, I think pneumonia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the smallest child, I'm pretty confident. I know that sound by now. I'm pretty confident he has pneumonia. I've just heard it, so um, I'll get him to the doctor straight away. Cold season here. Um, a lot of people, a lot of children are catching pneumonia. I had one who had pneumonia. And I discovered by accident because a child pushed a stone in her ear. Um, and when I picked her up to have a look, I heard the wheeze in her chest. So uh, when we got her to the hospital, I asked them to check, and she developed severe pneumonia pretty quickly. So, so I've just heard this uh, familiar. Sadly, this familiar wheeze that I hear in, hear in children's chests here, which is always pneumonia, so... Yeah. Both. This one. Both sick. For chest. For up. Hmm? Okay. Baba <laughs> Nike They don't have a bed and the mattresses. Okay. I don't know if you heard that, but um, all of these children sleep on the floor.
for all two of the children are clearly sick. Um, the parents have had to go and work in the shamba in the farm uh, because, well, if they don't, then nobody eats. So they've just had to leave Rehammer in charge. Hold on. You know me and my feathers. <laughs> For those of you who know about me and the feathers, um, one has just came tumbling across the ground while I was talking, so. So yeah, anyway, so for all, two of the children are sick. Um, the parents have had to leave them so they can go work in the shamba because what choice do you have? If your kids are sick and you have no money to treat them, um, They've had to leave their, eldest, their daughter, the eldest child, in charge of the sick children while they're going work. Because if they didn't, then there's no food. So, and everyone gets even more sick. This is the brutal reality of the developing world. These are the decisions. People back in the West think they have difficult decisions to make. But can you imagine that sort of decision making that I've just seen here? In one house, there's a lady making a decision. One decision is to let your child die of malnutrition. The other decision is to infect your child with HIV. And people do make that choice. Yeah, they do make it. And then he's another decision next door to go and labor and leave your 18 month old child sick with what I believe is probably pneumonia when we get them to the doctor um, and leave your other child in charge of them. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to get these off to the dispensary. She's chapel. Yeah? Do you want to change her clothes? And the big time is like... Kwashnikov. Yeah. Ah, 
Question. Question. Yeah. Um, first of all, let me print files for them. So yeah. this is uh, Dr. Jared, and uh, you confirm it's pneumonia. Pneumonia. Yeah, yeah they have pneumonia. Yeah. So they both have pneumonia, um, and also uh, the eldest has a question which is uh, malnutrition condition. Yeah. Malnutrition, which is... Doctor can maybe explain that for you if, if you don't mind, Doctor. So Yeah, malnutrition means like the kids are not getting the clear or balanced diet. They actually get carbohydrates mostly, that's what's causing all that. And I think also they have worms. Okay. You know, because the family background, the parents even don't care bring the kid for the medication. Yeah, yeah. I think that is the biggest problem within, within Africa also because of the low more economic standards. That's why we, we can learn how to worship for oral malnutrition conditions like that. Yeah. Uh, pneumonia, the weather condition right now, and actually not caring so much about the, 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 the health of the kids by the parents because of their poor. Yeah. I think that's why we're seeing all these, these kids at this moment. Or, or not having the money to treat them. Uh, yeah, anyway. that's so, poor yeah. economic standards. No yeah. low money income leading to lack of medical for the medical attendance and that's why we find kids get into such conditions which is where high child mortality comes from yeah. in east africa so. yeah so we got them here just in time so we have two people with pneumonia but one believe... with kwashniko which is an extended stomach through lack of protein yeah um because they're living on flour and water yeah and I don't know, we haven't checked the girl to see if she has Kwashniko or not. Uh, both. They, both have, both have Kwashniko. Okay. The tummy is big, okay. the belly is extended, and then it's wrinkled. You can see, okay. you can watch the, the belly. It's like, that's okay. funny linings. Uh, it's a clear indication of Kwashniko. Okay. So we need to start providing them with some balanced yeah, diet balanced support, diet. For nutrition support from the yeah. fund. Okay. Okay, thanks, Doctor. Yeah, thanks, John. <laughs> I'm just here with uh, who you know as Mama, Mama Hussein and this is uh, Marianne who is only one week old um, this is Mama's latest child so so that is a surreal moment where I'm sitting here and on the radio um, you can hear the song that's come on <laughs> it's made me laugh because you never hear music like this in Tanzania so. but, um, pretty apt song because it is true that's what I believe in so. but yeah so this is Little Marianne. And this is the mama. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Don't believe in superstars, organic food and foreign cars. I don't believe the price of gold, the certainty of growing old. That right is right and left is wrong, that north and south can't get along. That east is east and west is west, and being first is always best, but I believe. I believe in babies I believe in mom and dad And I believe in you I don't believe that heaven waits For only those who congregate I like to think of God as love He's down below up above he's watching people everywhere he knows who does and doesn't care and i'm an ordinary man sometimes i wonder who i am but i believe in love i believe in music i believe in magic I believe 